And let's take a live look outside the Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot at Luther Family Ford. And you can see the rain coming down as of right now under the light. We have cloudy skies and it's a little breezy right now as temperatures are staying near that 50 degree mark into the Fargo area, Oaks, Gwinter. As you make your way across portions of Lakes Country, some upper 40s on the map from Wadena out toward Valley City and Jamestown. Mid 40s into the Devil's Lake Basin, near 50 into the Grand Forks area. And into northwestern Minnesota, some lower 40s on the map as of right now. And the wind mainly from a cool easterly direction at 5 to 15 miles per hour as you make your way across our Minnesota counties, but really starting to pick up around 15 to 30 miles per hour out toward Jamestown and into the Devil's Lake Basin. So here's what we're looking at in terms of where it is raining. A couple of dry slots right now, including one just off to the south of the, uh, the uh, Fargo, Jamestown, Valley City area, but in Fargo. Fargo Valley City and Jamestown itself and even out toward the Detroit Lakes area down toward Wapaton. We got some light shower activity. Also some light showers across the Devil's Lake Basin into the Northern Valley and Northwestern Minnesota as of now. And uh, we do have this high pressure system exiting and with it uh, our dry conditions are gone. We got this low pressure system that over the next 36 hours will very slowly move across the region as it gives us periods of rain, some, uh, sometimes possibly heavy. Let's take a look at that hour by hour forecast, mainly cloudy skies, temperatures falling back into the mid to upper 40s during the overnight period with the rain continuing throughout the day. And there's the uh, moderate to heavy intensity rain going possibly through the early afternoon. And there is a chance of some thunderstorms, especially into the southern valley, going through the very late evening and into the early overnight. Isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. There's enough spin in the atmosphere to produce some hail, possibly up to quarter size. And it, it will be windy anyway, so the thunderstorms could reach 60 miles per hour and set off severe thunderstorm warnings. Here's what it looks like during the overnight. This model actually has a line moving through the Southern Valley uh, and then it's out of here by the morning on Monday. Mainly cloudy skies through the early afternoon and the system will bring in warmer air. So Monday's highs are going to be into the mid 60s and then uh, we're going to see temperatures fall back through the 50s as we clear out through Monday evening. Let's take a look at that forecast. Recapping tomorrow, there's your rain. Temperatures rising very slowly from the uh, upper 40s around 6 a.m. all the way into the mid to upper 50s around 10 p.m. We do have that chance of of some rain showers. Here's a snapshot around 5 p.m. and there's your rain clouds a little windy with temperatures uh, into the mid 40s to mid 50s as you have your as you make your way through the evening. Here's the photo of the day. It is called Grand Forks before sunrise. Thank you to David for this one using the background of the seven day forecast and there's the rain moving out by Monday afternoon and then a little cooler into the lower 50s Tuesday and Wednesday can't roll out a shower on Wednesday evening and then decreasing clouds Thursday high of 53 and warming up for Friday up to 60 partly cloudy and breezy and 64 our next chance of some showers for next Saturday. So people should definitely stick around so as you cover those mm -hmm. chances of severe weather. Yeah, there's a chance of severe weather mainly into the evening and also most of us going to get around uh, half an inch to one and a half inches of rain. We'll see how that affects the flooding too. All right. Thanks, Justin.